Hayden Panettiere recently found herself in the spotlight for reasons that have left her feeling compelled to address concerns over her mental health and sobriety. The 35-year-old actress, known for her roles in Heroes and Remember the Titans, has been the subject of intense scrutiny following a viral video of a recent interview. During the interview, which covered a range of deeply personal topics including the tragic death of her younger brother Jansen in 2023, Panettiere's speech seemed slurred, prompting an outpouring of concern and criticism from fans and media alike. Taking to Instagram, Panettiere made a heartfelt statement in an attempt to clear the air and provide context for what had transpired. I would like to take a moment to address the controversy surrounding an interview I recently completed with People magazine, she wrote. It's unfathomable that I'm even in this position, but I feel forced to address it in a space where I won't be criticized for how fast or slow I speak. Panettiere explained that her speech during the interview was heavily impacted by exhaustion, revealing she had been awake for two full days before the shoot. I hadn't slept for two days prior to the shoot due to one of my dogs who was recovering from an emergency surgical procedure. She shared candidly. As a result, the long day of filming, which was an eight-hour session followed by what was meant to be a one-hour sit-down interview, took a toll on her energy and focus. According to the actress, the beginning of the interview when she felt more composed and present was not included in the version of the video that was posted online by People magazine. The situation was compounded as the conversation became more emotionally charged, particularly when the topic of her late brother arose. I was exhausted. My rep stopped the interview early as it became obvious that I was fading especially as the subject matter became heavier, she wrote. We asked the interviewer if we could redo it another day or do a follow-up interview on Zoom. Panettiere noted that despite her team's concerns, they were reassured that the interview had been heartfelt and emotional and that no further session was needed. We were also told they would edit it and that it would be a beautiful piece. However, the final product did not reflect her expectations, and Panettiere expressed disappointment with how it had been presented. She explained that, as per standard industry practices, she did not have the opportunity to review or approve the final edit before it was published. The magazine does not grant approval for images or video interviews before they run. We see the interview when it goes live, she noted. In addressing the widespread critique of her appearance and speech, Panettiere took the opportunity to remind people that grief manifests differently for everyone. As she continues to cope with the heartbreaking loss of her brother, she stressed that people should not jump to conclusions about her health based on a single interview. Grief looks different on everyone, she said, adding that any decisions related to her mental health or whether she takes medication or personal matters that should remain private. It's none of anyone's business and is between me and my doctor. Panettiere emphasized that she is conducting interviews primarily to promote her new film, a project she is deeply proud of. Yet, she lamented the way social media and news cycles have increasingly become fixated on sensationalism rather than the real story. The real issue here is the toxicity of social media and a news cycle that is driven by clickbait, she explained. Mental health, she asserted, is a subject of critical importance and the damage caused by online criticism can have real, lasting effects on individuals. I hope those reading this now understand that what you say hiding behind a computer screen can have a detrimental impact on someone she wrote. For those who have stood by her and offered support amidst the backlash, Panettiere expressed profound gratitude. For those of you who have come to my defense amidst this chaos, I am so grateful. Like I've said before, I am a work in progress. We all are. The interview also marked a rare moment where Panettiere spoke openly about the passing of her brother Jansen, something she had not previously discussed in detail. His sudden death in February 2023 had a profound impact on her both mentally and physically. When my little brother passed away, my body did something I've never really seen it do before she revealed. Within days, I basically just ballooned out Panetti or explained that the immense stress she was under caused her body to react in unexpected ways. Despite trying every possible solution, both healthy and unhealthy, she could not control the physical changes. It didn't matter what I ate, didn't matter what I did. My body. It was like protecting itself, shielding itself from the world. Her grief also led to the onset of agoraphobia, making it difficult for Panettiere to leave her home or interact with others. She recounted how, for a period, she isolated herself, living in sweatpants and t-shirts, unable to face the world outside. The anxiety of being seen, coupled with the pressure she placed on herself to perform, became overwhelming. I became desperate, she admitted. I wanted to keep working, but I didn't want to go and be miserable on set. And I didn't want to go to fittings and look at myself in the mirror and hate everything that I saw on myself. Ultimately, it was through a combination of personal resilience, mental health support, and the guidance of a personal trainer that Panettiere began to reclaim her strength.
She learned to release the stress and self-imposed expectations that had weighed her down, allowing herself to heal both mentally and physically. Today, Panettiere is more determined than ever to take control of her narrative and confront the challenges she faces head-on. In closing, Panettiere's message to her followers was one of resilience and self-awareness. Despite the difficulties she has faced, she remains steadfast in her commitment to her own well-being and personal growth. I am a work in progress, she repeated, reminding everyone that no one is immune to struggles, but it is how we rise from them that defines us. With the support of those who have stood by her, Panettiere is moving forward one step at a time determined to stay strong in the face of adversity.